Hey guys, welcome back to story time. I hope you're all enjoying your time at home with your mammies and daddies and having great fun. Now, I had to go up to my attic to find a special book that Mason was looking for. So can anyone w remember what Mason was looking for? Remember I told you the last day, he was looking for Room on the Broom. Very good, we like that one, don't we? And we loved it at Halloween and it was up in my attic with all the Halloween decorations and I had to go and find it. So look who else is here as well today. Cedric is here today, isn't he? To say hello to you again. He's so excited because he's missing all his friends at preschool. So we start room on the broom. We will. Now, here we go. Now, the witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Oh my goodness, what happened to the witch's hat? It, they were on the broomstick and the wind was blowing and her hat blew off. Look, it blew off. Where is it going to go? Can you remember where it goes? It goes down into the ground, doesn't it? Can anyone remember who finds the hat? I bet you remember who finds the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on, a on thundering paws, who was it? There bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. Very good, it was the dog that found it, wasn't it? He dropped it politely. And eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be, is the room on the broom for a dog like me. So what does the dog want? Yeah, he wants to go on the broom, doesn't he? Yeah, he wants to go on the broom with the witch. So he asks her, can he go on it? Yes, said the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the, bro the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. So who's on the broomstick now? We have the cat, the witch, and the dog. And whoosh, off they go, up into the sky. Now look. Over the fields and the forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. So what happened to the witch this time? So they're all on the broomstick and the wind is blowing and what blew off the witch's hat? Can you see? That was her bow, isn't it, off her hair? And where is it going to go? Look who's looking down here. There's animals on the ground, isn't there? What's that? Yeah, it's a squirrel. Very good. And there's some sort of a castle here too, isn't there? Way off in the distance. So uh, so the wind was blowing. They're all on, on it. And who's trying to catch it? The dog, I think, tries to catch it. But the bow is gone, isn't it? So down falls the bow. Look down onto the ground, down near a tree. So who's gonna find it? Can anyone remember who finds the witch's bow? I bet you know who finds it. Let's see. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. So there they are searching for the bow, look. Next thing, out from a tree with an ear splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. So it was the bird, wasn't it? Very good. You knew it was the bird, you remember it, didn't you? She dropped it politely and bent her head low. So she brought it over and gave it back to the witch. Then said, as the witch tied the plait in her bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? So now the bird wants to go on the broomstick, doesn't he? Yeah. So do you think the witch will let him? I think she will. Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. And the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. So who's on the broomstick now? So we've got the witch, the cat, the dog, yeah, and the bird. And they're on the broomstick now. The broom, there's lots of people on the broomstick now, isn't there? Must be getting heavy. Oh, look, what's happening now? I think it's raining. Look, is it raining? It is. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. So what happened this time? What did the witch drop? She dropped her wand. Oh no, and she needs that for her magic, doesn't she? 
and it's raining and they're flying over the river here look what's this i wonder strange little guy in the water here i wonder what that is so down anyway went the broomstick into the water right so who's gonna find the or who's gonna find the wand now it's the wand that went down i can see an eye peeking out here does anyone know what that is oh that might be who finds it can you remember very good i bet she can remember then all of a sudden, from out of the pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. Look, who found it? The frog, didn't he? He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak. I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? So now the frog wants to go on the broom. So what do you think the witch is going to say? She's a very kind witch, so I think she'll say yes, won't she? Yes, cried the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. So they're all on the broomstick now. So who's on the broomstick now? The witch, the frog, the cat, the bird and the dog. Very good. Now there's a lot of them on it now, isn't there? Now what's going to happen next? Uh-oh. So over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy, but the, what happened? The broom snapped in two. Oh no, the broom broke, look. And they're all falling off, oh no. Down fell the cat and down fell the dog. Down went, down they went tumbling into the bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. So the witch is still on it and everybody fell down, look. All the rest of them fell down. And the witch is still on it and she flies into a cloud. Oh no, what's going to happen? And then she hears a roar that's scary and loud. Oh, I'm afraid to turn the page. What's going to happen now? Oh no. Oh my goodness, what's that? It's a dragon. I am a dragon, as mean as can be. And I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips, he said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. <gasps> so she's down on the ground, she's looking around for someone to help her, and he, the dragon is going to eating her. So what's going to happen now? <gasps> oh my goodness me, what is this? But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rode a horrible beast. A horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads and it had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched and it, as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. So what happened? Down it came and it looks like a big scary monster. And the witch is in the dragon's arms and he's about to eat her. I think she got such a fright she fainted. Oh my goodness. And what did the dragon say? Or what did the big monster say? Buzz off. That's my witch. So do you think the dragon is going to get a fright now? Or is he just going to eat the witch anyway? Let's see. The dragon drew back and started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And spread out his wings and was off through the sky. So what happened? The dragon got scared and he decided to fly away, didn't he? He's going to fly away now and he's not going to eat the witch anymore because he thinks the monster is really scary. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the dog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch said. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Okay, so what happened? Was it a monster? Or was it just all her friends covered in muck? And I think the dragon thought it was a monster, didn't he? And now she's so happy, look. She's so happy dancing around and hugging all her friends. She's so happy that the dragon is gone. And look at him flying away. He's gone now, isn't he? Because he was scared. Off he goes and he won't come back anymore. So then what did the witch do? She filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. So they all went to, to find things to throw into the witch's cauldron, because she must be going to do a magic spell, isn't she? 
They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a, a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. So she did all her magic and she used her wand, didn't she, to wave? And she said, Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog and a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. There it is, look. Oh my goodness, seats for the witch and the cat and the dog and a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Look at it all, all their special seats. And there's the witch sitting on her seat and look. There's the shower for the frog, look. And the bird is up there on her nest and the witch has a big seat and the cat and the dog have their own seat too. Oh, this is an amazing broom, isn't it? Yes, cried the witch and they all clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh. They were gone. Oh my goodness. So off they went and that was the end. And they all lived happily ever after on their lovely new broomstick, didn't they? That's a beautiful broomstick. So did you like that story? That's the room on the broom, isn't it? Yeah, it's very good. And Cedric really liked it. Because that's one of Cedric's favourite stories. But you know what else Cedric wants me to read the next day? He wants me to read Hairy Toe. So will we read Harry Toe the next day? And will he be a little bit scared? Will he be a little bit scared? Harry Toe is very scary, isn't it? But the next day I come back, we'll read Harry Toe. But I hope you enjoyed Room on the Broom because I did. It was really good. And I miss you and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.